Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here as the recording of this TGIF. It is Friday, April 19th, 2024. I am departing Dubuque, Iowa, heading over to Cedar Rapids, about a 70 mile commute. Need to fill up the rental car, drop the rental car off at the airport there. My mom and I spent some family time here in the tri-state area, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, state line, Mississippi River's right over there. We are flying American Airlines back to Orlando, but not before a layover will happen in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I have my sweatshirt on. I am wearing shorts, which probably should have pants on. However, I want to have a comfortable flight. So just gonna bear with it for now because when I get to Florida, I think it's highs of late 80s, 90s today? Let's say mid to late 80s, and then once I'm back, I'm only gonna be back for a few days, 90s are the high. So I'm kinda dressed for Florida weather, and I'll take this off probably on the plane when I, when I finally arrive. It's gonna be a long day of travel. I'm inviting you to join me. A lot of traveling the rest of this year. In fact, been here for about a week. I was here for six days. Back to Orlando for three, maybe four days, give or take a day. And then I'm off again. Join me. Shall you? Gonna miss this little town. To be honest, I didn't even know. That was also my reflection in the window. Didn't even really know much about this place before arriving. And now I feel like I'm kinda sorta familiar with Dubuque. Now I need to watch the movie Fist, because that was filmed here, so A lot of travels planned the rest of the year. A lot of travels around the US. And also, one of the things I want to do when I get back, even though I'm going to be leaving immediately for about another week, but then when I get back from there, got a little time back at home in the middle of May. I want to get my passport. And next year, some international travels. And Maybe later this year too, but definitely next year. I don't want to start up talking about 2025 in any way, shape, or form, but I feel like me not having my passport the last few years, I let it expire. Not long, so basically when you renew your passport, as long as you, ha it hasn't been expired for a multitude of years, you can renew it pretty easily. You just gotta mail it in, got your, get your new passport photo taken, all that. I'll do all that at some point here in the next few weeks. But I know once I get that back, in my in my possession and I'll be able to, to travel a little bit more I know I'll probably get a little taste of that a little sample of international and who knows it could open up a lot more doors all right Look at my mom and head out all right fueling up here self-pumping gas nozzle at a Casey's also be returning this rental car dropping it off at the airport they always request it is frowned upon to not fill it not Turn it in with an empty tank, so 394 per gallon. Here in Monticello, drove a little ways. Drove about 30, 45 minutes, so about halfway there. All right, drove about another 45 minutes, used about an eighth of a tank, and topping it off. So look at that silt. We made it to the airport. I had to fuel up twice because I wanted to make sure I topped it off. I'm heading over towards the rental car area. This direct, it's a smaller airport, so it shouldn't be too difficult getting through the checkpoints and everything. Much smaller than MCO Orlando and Dallas. Unlike a lot of other rental car places, when you pull up, there's an employee that will take your keys and your paperwork. Here, you just park in the spot that's allotted. And then you go in and hand your keys in. But before you get in the airport, you don't see a rental car employee. You don't hand them the keys right when you pull up. It's a little different. Just remember how cold it is here because when we get to Orlando, it won't be like this. Well, I'm glad because I don't like this cold weather. 
it's going to be. We'll be getting there at eight o'clock tonight, so it doesn't make any difference. It'll be, it'll be nice being. Inside in front of the terminal is for loading and unloading. They got the heat on in here. Definitely not a beehive of activity. CID is the name of this airport. So MCO is Orlando International. This is CID, Eastern Iowa Airport. I don't know if I'll ever fly into this airport again, to be honest. So kind of neat to, to do it. I like different flight experiences. There's the old Cedar S, a piece of the brick from the original airport hangar. All right, let's get through the, look at this. Cedar Rapids Airway, airplane rides a dollar, not bad. I also love airports that have the rental car facility on the airport proper site. A lot of them you have to get on a shuttle and go to different ones. This one, Orange County, California, John Wayne, and MCO Orlando all have rental cars in the airport building without taking a shuttle, which is nice. And the other one too. Got a mascot of some sort kind of lurking in the shadows here. The big eye for Iowa. Right on his chest. Nice. Uh, look like this airport opened in November of 1986. Cedar Rapids Municipal Airport must have been the original name. Wait a second, no. Dedication of Cedar Rapids Municipal Airport was held in April of 47. Must have been a different wing of some sort. Okay, these are not permitted. Scissors over four inches, little bats. Also, we're, how many people are in front of us in line right now? Two. <laughs> Two people. <laughs> gotta, you gotta have your patience, patience when you're here. Gotta have your patience. A whole two people in front of us. What a difference from MCO. And looks like we are on time. So we have that one right there, American Airlines 1905. We're going to Dallas, Fort Worth, where we have a 50 minute layover. Ooh. All right, quick and easy. Take the laptop out of the bag, put it in the bin, take the belt off, leave the bag there. Good to go. Quick and easy. Put the shoes back on and head to the gate. There's one little escalator here. Only one escalator, up and down. That's all this airport has, one escalator. Well, two, there's another one going downward, but yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, here's another, uh, here's another mascot here, right there. All right, according to this, flight 1905 to Dallas-Fort Worth, where our layover is, is on time, which is always good to see. And there's a little coffee stand over here which there was absolutely no line for no one in that line so I got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage from Iowa City so it is a state a local local to the state Java house local coffee established 1994 cheers look at this that, that cup's looking at me it's got a big eye and I have put my hoodie into my backpack because I don't need it anymore. Look at this, you can get a Hawkeye's napkin holder here. Just perusing around the little gift shops. Your chargers right here, look at this, you can get a little corn, a little Cedar Rapids corn stalk right there, a cow, a pig. You get a little toothpick holders. That's what they call these now, at least in the theme parks. Probably Iowa, they probably still call them shot glasses. brush with Iowa on it. License plate, camouflage license plate. All right, this is clever. Iowa is the four letter word you can use in front of your mama. True, very true. I've been using a lot in front of my mom this week. Iowa, I mean the word Iowa. Got corn? Oh, here's the, uh, the one that was showing a moment ago. Iowa rocks, 20 million hogs, can't be wrong. <laughs> it's gonna be us soon, right there, taking off above the birds. Fly over country into bourbon country, ooh. 
Yeah, it is definitely very, very mellow in here. Mellowest airport of the day award goes to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. There it is, pulling in. Get a little view here of the docking procedures. Gate three. This will be a short flight straight south down to Dallas-Fort Worth. And then from there, pick up the layover and then eastward be Dallas-Fort Worth to Orlando International. Looks like the fuel truck, the gas truck, is putting a little fuel into the side of the vehicle there. Signature Renew Sustainable Aviation Fuel, it says on the side. And there, people are just getting off board. The luggage rack is, or the luggage conveyor belt is working. And then, we'll be boarding soon. American Airlines. All day. All right, we are sitting in 2F and 2D. Not 3D, that'd be cool if it was a 3D flight. But it's a 2D flight, seat 2D. Inflate the overhead compartment. Small lightweight items may be placed in the seat pocket. Thank you. If you are sitting in an exit seat, please review the safety card in the seat pocket. You may need to open the exit in an emergency. Let a flight attendant know if you are operating, unable, or do not meet the exit seat requirements. Thank you. Another flight day. Another flight day. Packs and purses underneath the seat in front of you. The only exception is if you in row one or row eight. Every item does need to go up to the taxi, take off, and landing. This is a federal aviation regulation. Got a little vitamin C kick in here policy. with some OJ. I finished my coffee. Mom got herself a, a warm tea. Take it off soon. Cheers. I hope you spent the gate once we're going to get an hour and 40 minutes down to Dallas. It's going to be a fairly decent ride as we make our way uh, down toward Texas this afternoon. Current weather in DFW is a uh, Winds out of the north at 12 miles an hour, and the temperature is 63 degrees and uh, partly cloudy skies. Thanks for coming with us, relax, and uh, we'll be on our way short. Got my gun, my shoe on upon departure and arrival, take off and land to keep my ears from popping. I don't know, I feel like it helps. Always chew gum on the flights. Just try to.
this flight because it's only an hour and 45 minutes. They got some snacky stuff here. Fry, fly, and snacks. I really like the skinny popcorn here. I've been getting a lot of these lately, the skinny pop popcorn. Pure pop to perfection. But I also got some ruffles and some smokehouse almonds. Nice.
that's going to park us at the C gates. For our connecting flight, we have to make it over to the A gates. ended up being 17 minutes early because we only had about 50 minute 45 minute connect time with the layover so we ended up having a little extra which is going to be nice it's a big airport it takes a little while to get around all right arriving we are at c we got to go to a only one stop won't be too bad be over there in a matter of moments. This train is the train, also known as the Skylink. sitting in 5A and 5C. Now stop service to Orlando. We're so excited to have you on board. This is an extremely cool flight. So we need to maximize the space in the overhead bin. In order for us to do that, sort of we have to place your larger items in wheels first. Turn them on their side, either the taco or a That is the transportation device we were just on. If you're sitting in an exit row, please review the safety card or the seat back pocket. Then a flight attendant know if you're unwilling or unable or you do not meet those It's always stressful when you have a layover that's less than an hour. But we got on it. We're on it. So Jet. Looks noticeably 
different than all the other airlines for this company, or all the other airplanes. vegetarian plate. This is what we're dealing with. A little cauliflower over here. You got some uh, other items. I can't remember what they called this. There's some chives in there. Got some rustic rustic bake rustic bakery south sour I don't know, some kind of bean. It's a bean. It looks like lentil, maybe. What's this? I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Well, this is cauliflower. That's cauliflower. Oh, yeah. But this. That's like a butt cake. That's like a cake. Like a carrot or a butt cake. Yeah, probably, yeah. Also had a chicken and bean option move with the vegetarian. Universal Studios Florida or Universal Orlando. 
Orlando, they call it now. I believe we're going to have to do a U-turn to go back to land. These are open. This is where all the little gummy candy is. But right now, it is past 8 o'clock. Good to be back. It was gone a week. Now I'm back. There is the iconic fountain over there. I think we're parked over this way, Mama. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. There they are, the flat deer. Yeah, flat deer. How I knew where we parked. You said, there's the flat deer. Don't need this jacket. Yeah, yeah. Don't think, need this jacket. You can take the jacket off now. All right, we're right over here. Back in Florida. A vast difference in the weather than it was when we left. When we left earlier from Iowa. Good times, a good trip. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is 